എല്ലാവർക്കും ലാഫ് ആൻഡ് തിങ്ക് മീഡിയ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനലിലേക്ക് സ്നേഹപൂർവ്വം സ്വാഗതം Обстреляли проспект Победы в районе метро Берестейской. Блокпост воинская часть. Блядь, горит все. Сумку Коля! Поднял сумку в этой тачке? А? Куда подпиши? Ручка в этой тачке поднял сумку? Нет? Нет! military launched more than 100 ballistic and cruise missiles into Ukraine. A senior defense official telling ABC News the president is sending an additional 7,000 troops heading to Germany to reassure NATO allies. He calls devastating packages of sanctions and other economic measures to hold Russia to account. This as a minority of the 150,000 Russian troops continue to advance into Ukraine from the east, from Belarus in the north and from the south in crucial military operation in Ukraine. Ukrainian officials now reporting Russian troops have reportedly taken full control of the exclusion zone around Chernobyl nuclear power station, including the plant itself. Troops also seizing an airport less than 20 miles away from Ukraine's capital of Kyiv. President Zelensky addressing his people today, saying what we're hearing was the sound of a new iron curtain lowering and closing Russia away from the civilized world. In several cities are preparing for the uncertainty ahead, lining up to withdraw money from banks and stocking up on gas and other supplies. Western Ukraine and Poland are also bracing for an influx of refugees fleeing the fighting and bombing. These videos show Russian vehicles driving through Obolon. This is merely three miles north of Kyiv's parliament in the city center. While Russia contends it's only targeting military establishments, Ukraine alleges their civilians are the targets. Take control of Kyiv includes seizing the airport and ATC to allow an influx of troops to land. Top intel sources warn that Moscow may sabotage Kyiv's electricity and communications, seize government buildings and finally set up a Russian-friendly establishment. Images of war, Russian military vehicles and tanks rolling through a Ukrainian checkpoint from Belarus. Images circulating online showing what appear to be Russian helicopters sweeping in during an assault on a military base about 20 miles outside the capital of Kyiv. Another concern tonight, Russian vehicles at Chernobyl nuclear site. The Russians are now in control of that nuclear plant some 60 miles from Kyiv. Of course, the site of the world's worst nuclear disaster back in 1986 and where there are still vast amounts of dangerous nuclear waste entombed there. 
Despite Russian claims tonight, reports of some missiles striking civilian targets falling on this neighborhood near the capital. And in Ukraine's second largest city tonight, Ukrainians now taking shelter in the subways in Kharkiv. Parents with their children huddling underground now for safety. Some asking, what does Putin want? Still unclear why this is all happening. The scene at bus and train stations tonight, the desperate attempt to get to safety, and world leaders are already warning tonight of a refugee crisis. Russia unleashing a brutal military assault on Ukraine. Invading this vast nation from the north, south, and east. The attack seen in videos posted online from inside Ukraine. After bitter fighting, Russian forces now reportedly in control of Chernobyl, the destroyed nuclear plant just 60 miles from the capital, Kyiv. U.S. military sources say they believe the Russians are driving on Kyiv to surround and, quote, decapitate the government there. We saw fighter jets flying over the city this morning as emergency air raid sirens wailed. A large number of Russian helicopters seen on social media posts attacking a military base less than 20 miles from the center of the capital, triggering a pitched battle. The Russians launching over 160 ballistic missiles and rockets on military installations across Ukraine, but also reportedly hitting some civilian targets. Here, an enormous unexploded rocket lodged in the ceiling of an apartment building in Kharkiv, close to the Russian border. And here, a jet missile wedged into a damaged road. Intense fightings reported around Kharkiv, and thousands have been forced to shelter in the subways. Columns of Russian tanks and armored vehicles are reported to be still pouring across the Ukrainian border tonight. Swarms of helicopters flying in low over the countryside, creating panic and terror for the people living there. Even so, military sources say less than half of Russia's 150,000 troops have entered the country. But they're now facing off against a Ukrainian army of 250,000, but that's less sophisticated and powerful. Europe hasn't seen an invasion of this size since World War II. Martial law has been declared across the country, and all men of fighting age and reservists are being mobilized. The capital's now under curfew, and like other major cities, roads were jammed today, with people trying to flee from the onslaught. There have been massive lines at gas stations, and residents desperate for cash are lining up for hours at ATMs. Three friends, all from Donbass in eastern Ukraine, in Maidan Square, where Ukraine turned its back on Russia in its 2014 revolution, showing support for their country. We are not afraid. We are ready to defend our country. Marichka Padulko is a morning news anchor in Ukraine. Tonight, her husband's at war and her children hiding in safety in the West. I think that's the worst scenario that we could expect. I never expected it to be so... 40 Ukrainian service members have been killed, as well as dozens of civilians. Zelensky saying the fiercest fighting is in the south, where Russians are advancing from Crimea, adding that some Russian soldiers have been captured. Around the world, the Russian offensive is being condemned. The Pentagon tonight saying it'll now deploy 7,000 more...